What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm announcing the launch of HyperCharts. This is an epic, special project that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks, and now it is ready to be put into the public, or it's still in beta, but it's basically a platform to visualize different companies' financials. We're launching with five companies on there, um, a handful of metrics for each one of those companies. I'm super excited about this. HyperCharts is actually its own little startup and company and product that you're gonna see in the wild. We're gonna keep adding to it. It's gonna grow. It's a partnership that I'm doing with Mo Sala, who's someone who watches HyperChange, is a software engineer, and is an, an amazing developer at visualizing data. And so I've teamed up with him to, to do this HyperCharts venture, and we're so, so excited to be able to show it to you today, at least the start of it. And um, so basically what it is, is you can go into it here. Um, we have the five companies in the menu, Tesla, Square, Netflix, Amazon, Apple. Um, of, let's start with Tesla, because that's probably your favorite. So you can go to Tesla, and it will visualize um, the financials of the company, and as well as select key business data. So for Tesla, we have vehicles delivered. Um, obviously, that's a very important metric, and you can hover over any of the data um, to, to get the exact number of that data. Also, which I think is a really cool feature, is at the top of the chart, you can toggle different sections on or off if you want to highlight or focus on one piece of data. And so scrolling down, you'll see we have the revenue segments, breaking down which uh, you know business line revenue is coming from. Then we have this chart, which maps the company's revenue and earnings. And like I said, really easy to toggle this and, and show kind of different stuff. And so um, operating expenses, growth, free cash flow, cash, revenue multiple. For Tesla, we have energy storage deployed per quarter, energy generation deployed per quarter, which is solar, um, supercharging stations. And then you can go, you know, another company that I think um, is interesting, Apple. Of course, you can see how their revenue gets broken down by iPhone, Mac, iPad, services. Uh, you know, we can toggle from annual to quarterly. Uh, you know, we can we can change. So I, I'm a huge, huge fan of this software product. If you couldn't already tell, I have fun using it. Um, and you know, I create charts for HyperChange all the time, visualizing complex financial data. And I think it makes it so much easier for me to understand personally, for me to talk about it, for me to share it. And I think it really is gonna unlock people's ability to do financial analysis for themselves if they can access the financial data and it's charted in a beautiful way. So I'm so, so excited to be able to put HyperCharts in the wild. And a big reason why we're doing it this way and, and open sourcing it now before, you know, there's hundreds of companies and it's fully built is because we wanna grow it with you. We wanna take all of your input. We wanna know what companies you wanna see visualized, what data you wanna see, you know, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what, any suggestions. Like this is gonna be an evolving uh, software application that is gonna be, I think, an incredibly powerful thing. Like we want to launch a pro version with dashboards, being able to save charts, download data, all this other stuff. You can go to hypercharts.co, not.com and hit the website. I'll put the link in the description, use it, sign up for the emailing list. We also have the Twitter handle at hypercharts and the Instagram handle at hypercharts. So not really doing anything with those yet, but we will. And so I'm just super excited. I'm going to be working on this every day, trying to add new stats, new companies. Um, so please let us know uh, in the comments if there's something you'd like to see, or if there's data that's incorrect anything like that. And just a little note on um, personally why this makes me so excited because, you know, the reason why I started HyperChange is to be able to share my investing journey with the internet and people watching because I feel like we can create a little community to learn, share ideas, and it's just a great way to, to educate young people about finance is making it accessible and easy to understand and that's the goal of HyperChange. And so I think making my videos is one thing, but being able to put this software platform out there that really puts the power in your hands to use this data and visualize it and, and make education educated financial analysis by yourself, I think this is so, so powerful and could leave a much bigger impact. And I'm incredibly excited to see where this goes because there isn't a solution like this. Like I built this because I want to use it. There's nowhere, the, the, the data is out there. I mean, it's kind of really annoying to get and organize and that's what we're doing, but it's not that complicated and it's all there for free. And so by visualizing it and putting it on the internet and letting anyone access it, HyperCharts is on mobile too. It works really well there. Like I think we're just democratizing uh, financial education and analysis in a really, really good way. So I think this is going to be a game changer for the financial industry eventually when we get every company and when everybody's using it. And so, yeah, super stoked to announce the launch um, to go check out Hypercharts right now. This is Hyperchains. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.